What's good, everybody? It's your boy D Brown, aka Bruce D Roy. I'm an artist, producer, photographer, and videographer. Here I'm going to teach you a few things like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, FL Studios, and much, much more. So click the link in the description or check out my website. But I love all women because when I'm in your city, I'm going to take one home just to baby me. Then I'm going to make the paparazzi make plays for me. Just to have a whole world so amazed at me. Okay, so what we're going to do today is something that I cannot pronounce correctly. So if I get it wrong, I apologize. A vignette. What is a vignette? Sounds like a tongue twister. What is a vignette? Well, a vignette is just something that you can use in your picture to kind of give a border around that photo. Whether it's a black border or a white border, that is the whole purpose of a vignette. So if we get started, I have my model Phenomenal here. She's in a lot of other mount tutorials as well. But vignette is in the filter area. First, you would have to go to filter, like I just said. Lens correction. There's also a hotkey, shift control R. If you select that, another pop-up will come. I know you see vignette on the right side of the screen, but what we're going to do is leave it unchecked. If you check it, then it's more of an auto. It's what the computer would give you if you want to be lazy, if it's going to be honest with you, which is nothing wrong with that. But we're just going to leave it unchecked and go over to the custom tab. If you go down, you can actually look for it right there above amount. And in the amount area, you can tell when you decrease it, it goes darker. And when you increase it, the vignette is actually white. So you can choose between white or black. Below it is midpoint. If you increase midpoint, then it will actually take the vignette color itself and expand it. But if you decrease it, it will actually cover more of the photo so it's just how much do you want this border to cover the picture how much more of the edges do you need it to cover but it's something that really does come in handy you can play with it see what you like I personally just depends on the picture and depends on what the person wants so we click OK you can see it's changing and it will give it to you in the end as you can see right here and there you go I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial as we continue further with Photoshop for beginners. And please, please, please go out there and be a pro. Once again, it's your boy D. Brown, a.k.a. Bruce D. Roy. Enjoy your day and go be the best. You so dope. Uh, Better than a drink in my coat. Uh, More like the tree in my smoke. Uh, if you want to rock this boat, then we can ride you out. You so dope. Ooh. I'm going to get you in the ozone. Uh, then we can be alone. So we can ride you out. So dope, dope. Uh, what? You so dope. You so dope. You so dope. dope, dope. Uh, you so dope. You so dope. You so. Uh. Y'all make sure y'all like. Y'all comment, y'all subscribe, cause some funny, some fire stuff is on the way.